With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Here we have this question. A man goes to the top of a smooth inclined plane. Right. Uh, he releases a bag to fall freely and himself slides down on inclined plane to reach the bottom. If u1 and u2 are respective velocity of the man and bag at the bottom of the inclined plane, then uh, so we have to find the relation between u1 and u2 that means final velocities of man and the bag. So let us say that this is an inclined plane. Okay. This will be the inclined plane, right? And this is having some angle, some angle of inclination theta. Let's say that the height of this incline is h, okay? So the man and the bag, that means, uh, let's say this is the man and adjacent to it, this will be the bag. And we have to calculate u1 and u2, right? Now here we can see that only the gravitational force acting on both the bodies will be responsible for uh, the sliding motion on this inclined plane, right? And we know that gravitational force is a conservative force. That means here uh, I can apply the law of conservation of energy. That means total energy at initial point will be equal to total energy at final point right so this means if i write this for man okay half let's say the mass of the man is m1 okay into uh, initial velocity uh, at the top will be zero right zero plus potential energy will be m1 g h right this will be equal to the final velocity now at this point height will be 0 that means m1 g h will be 0 at this uh, at the final point but the kinetic energy will be half m1 the final velocity of the man is u1 right that means u1 square okay so from here i can write m1 g h this will be equal to half m1 u1 square right so that means mass and mass will get cancelled and from here u1 will be equal to under root of 2 g h okay now in similar way let us calculate u2 for bag okay now here initially um, the kinetic energy of the bag will be zero right as initial velocity is zero so i can write here zero plus the initial potential energy, uh, let's say M2 is the mass of bag, therefore the potential energy will be M2 G H, right? And final potential energy will be 0 because H will be 0. So this will be 0 plus final kinetic energy will be half M2 U2 square, okay? So therefore this will be equal to M2 G H is equal to half m2 u2 square this will get cancelled so again from here u2 will be equal to under root of 2 g h okay so if i say that this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 from comparing both these two equations uh, i can write u1 will be equal to u2 right therefore the relation between u1 and u2 is option c u1 equal to u2 for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.